Folks, somebody said it was time for a new five-seater summer table. I kind of agreed with them. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Okay, folks, a couple things going on today. Today, we're using this beautiful 70-inch, 100% cotton tablecloth, and it's a little different in black and white with the pattern. Then we're using a silvery pewter looking charger and the inspiration today you just saw my latest thrift haul and we're using the Crown Ming and it's called Spring Garden. Look at this. Now something I know you haven't seen yet by Coventry in Indonesia. Look at this beaut, the salad plate in a fine porcelain. This is my combination summer table for today. So you know we're going to start off too with a beautiful floral centerpiece. Everybody typically wants one. And I'm going to tone it way down a bit. Something that was suggested for folks that don't have quite the arsenal of flowers like we do. You know, that we've acquired over years and years of collecting. Now, who doesn't recognize this glorious American hobnail face by Fenton. Ruffled lip. And that's our face today. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so, you know, everything today is on a little smaller scale. And of course it would be less costly. Your basic flowers could be mums like these. Certainly white with a creamy center but they stand up nice and they're not cheap looking. So just look for that. If they're limp and they can't stand up nice you don't want them. All righty, so we have two bunches in the mums, and I gotta use this cute little, it's almost Lily of the Valley, but it's, it's a branch, it's, it's not quite. Coming up tall to break up the other white. Let's stay with white. We got a couple of daisies. I'm liking that. Then I want to come in and start our color. Now what do we have? Five pieces in there. Small pieces. That's it so far. Now we're going to come in with some color. Find an opening, take the tallest part and put it in the middle. Turn your vase so you can see your work. That's one yellow bunch of mums and here's a yellow rose. We want to get that color put in around the whole piece. Kind of separate it evenly. Here's one more rose. Not 12 roses, but just two. And I'm going to bend that down a bit for realism. And look what that does. How cute. Now, you know I love these little lemony fruit branches. And we're only going to use three. And we're going to go around because this is a three lip Face, I want the three. And that works with my thinking anyway. 
that nature is in odd numbers. Doesn't mean you have to have everything in threes. Five and seven works too. <laughs> All right, let's get this last one in and take a look. How sweet is it? Just a little tweak. And I do want a medallion in the center this time. I don't want our black and white just so dominant that we look alien here. It is summer. I just want to give you a different perspective and always strive to try to show you something different. You know that anyway. All right, look how cute. Simple, basic floral arrangement. Two colors. You know, a charger catches spills and it picture frames your dinnerware. That's what it's for. And you saw, sometimes I won't use one like, like a breakfast, but I prefer them. lemony yellow effect with the flowers and I'll tell you I used the yellow swan in another table but I can't help it I can you forgive me I got to use it one more time then something you haven't seen I got a new chocolate pot for my birthday now you know I want a hundred percent cotton napkin on the left technically the silverware goes next to the plate so we're gonna do that this time I, I, I usually don't bother but I do want to present everything properly. Sometimes you'll notice I squeeze it a little bit, like with the coffee cups on the left. Well, goodness, you run out of room. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not hard. And we're gonna have a wedge of Gouda cheese how can you beat it and we're gonna go with our dinner fork on the left with a proper dinner setting protocol anybody interested in this beautiful flatware we picked up on Amazon and we'll leave a link in the description box and it is by Wallace. So the Schmidt Sona Riesling and oh my goodness folks I think I'm gonna have to take you and show you all around.
So folks, if you liked our Eastern European summer table today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Tell us it touched you in one way or another. <laughs> hey, we'll see you on Instagram too. And keep the sun shining on your face. Take care now, everybody. And we'll see you in the next over-the-top decor video.